In this quick start tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use Adobe After Effects by creating this basic logo reveal. So let's go ahead and get started. To begin, you'll need to open up Adobe After Effects. From here, we need to create a new composition. So go ahead and select New Composition here, or you can go up to Composition, New Composition. A new composition is essentially a framework for your videos. It will say your composition's name, the video size and dimensions, the speed or the frame rate in which your video is playing, and also your runtime or the duration of your video. Mine is set to 15 seconds. Go ahead and change your settings to look like mine. If you want more or less time, go ahead and adjust that as you see fit. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to actually be creating my composition based off some video footage that I'll be importing. And you can do the same if you have some video footage that you'll be using. So if you do not have video footage, then go ahead and hit OK. But if you do, then follow along with my next steps. So let's go ahead and start bringing in some assets. In order to do that, we'll come over here to our project panel and we'll look for this big uh, empty space. And all you have to do is double click and that'll bring up your folders where you can now navigate and find your assets. So I will select my footage and import that here. And I'm gonna bring in a logo as well. Next, I'm going to select my video footage here and I'm going to drag it down onto my layers panel. So I'll pull it down here and let go. And as soon as I do that, it creates a new composition file. And that is the same kind of composition that I was just recently talking about. This composition file is based on the exact same dimensions, frame rate and speed of that video footage that I just brought in. As soon as you um, drag that into the layers panel, uh, the video is now on the timeline and we can scrub this, what is known as a playhead back and forth to play the video. You can press the space bar to play the video and you can also stop it by pressing the space bar. The next thing is if you're experiencing uh, like a slow playback with your video footage, you can adjust your quality here. So if you need to lower it just so your video won't have as much lag, you can adjust that. I'm going to use auto for the time being. The next thing we're going to do is drag out a logo on our composition. So I'll come up here to our project panel, select our logo and click and drag that onto the screen. From here, I can select it and move it around down here in our layers panel. You can uh, adjust these layers so one on top of another just like Photoshop you can shy or hide the visibility of a layer you can solo a layer just in case you wanted to select or just view one item and you can also lock your layers so that you cannot select them what we want to do is select our logo and shrink it down and put it in the middle of the screen. So what I'm going to do is come to this little handle right here and begin to click and drag and scale this down. You'll see that it is kind of squashing and stretching as I'm scaling it in. So in order to constrain its original proportions, I'm going to hold in the shift key and scale it to about right here. Now I'm going to just kind of move it up into frame. And now I want this to align right in the center. So over here, we have a whole bunch of additional panels that are available to us. We are looking for the align panel. When you find the align panel, go ahead and open it up and make sure that it's set to composition. And then with your logo selected or your uh, asset selected, hit this align horizontal and that'll snap it right in the middle of the composition. To deselect it, I just click anywhere outside the comp. The next thing we're going to do is add some text. So I'm going to come up here to our toolbar and double click on the type tool. And that will put a uh, type head right in the center of the screen. From here, I can type in uh, my title. This could be your YouTube channel or your company name. I'm just going to type in logo reveal. Oops, if I could spell. From here, I'm going to style this so I can just couple, uh, click it a couple times and until it gets selected. And then over here, we have our character panel and I can change the font and I could change the size and so on. 
you can also change the color. Once you have your um, title styled how you want, just come over here to the selection tool to click and then deselect it. Next thing is just positioning this stuff. So I'm going to pull mine down just a little bit and also holding shift to keep it kind of constrained in that vertical axis and then bring that down just a little bit. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is animate these. So we're gonna animate the logo first. So I'll select the logo. I'm gonna come down here to my timeline. And let me just grab this and scale this up just a little bit. And let's move this over to one second. In order to animate, what we need to do is add some keyframes. So to do that, we're gonna hit this drop down arrow and then select this drop down arrow and we're exposing or revealing the transform properties. The property that we're going to animate for this particular asset is going to be the scale. So to do this, we'll have our playhead at one second. We're going to activate this stopwatch by selecting it. I'll turn it on, it goes blue and it also adds a keyframe to our timeline at that one second mark. So now we've just keyed it at a scale of 19.6. Now what we're going to do is grab our playhead and bring it back in time to the beginning of our uh, timeline. And we're going to change the size of this scale. So I can just simply click and drag this until it hits zero. But scale can go in the reverse so what we're going to do is actually just click this and type in zero and hit enter now when we press the space bar that will animate on you'll also notice that after effects automatically added a new keyframe for us at um, this moment in time whenever you move an object and you have the playhead at a different moment in time that um, after Effects will add a new keyframe. So let's go ahead and I'll just show you an example of that. I'm, I moved it and After Effects automatically adds that keyframe. So I'm gonna undo that. Another thing I wanted to show you is that the speed of your animation is kind of based on the distance of the keyframes. So right now, this is the speed. But if we wanted to slow this down, we can add more distance between the keyframes hit the space bar and that will play a lot slower. And the reverse is also applicable. So if we bring the two keyframes closer together and we hit space bar, since they're closer, the animation is faster. All right. So I'm gonna return this back to one second and that pretty much concludes this object's animation. Now we're gonna animate our text. So I'm gonna close this, go to our logo, and or our text reveal, and hit that drop down bit, uh, menu, and this drop down menu. So you'll see that we have uh, a text property and our transform properties. These transform properties are what you'll be animating a majority of your time in After Effects. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna animate this text and it's just simply gonna come from the bottom up to where it's at. So let's go ahead and keyframe it in its current position. So I'll select this stopwatch on position. Then I'll add a keyframe right there at one second. We'll rewind our playhead to the beginning and now we will drag this down just a little bit. So I'll hold in shift and drag this to about right here. Just like before, since we moved it, at that moment in time, a new keyframe was added. So now if we hit the space bar, we can see how our animation is playing. I'm gonna move to about two seconds and press the end button. That's gonna trim our work area so that this video will just kind of replay within this work area. If I want, I can return that all the way back to the end and the video will play all the way through. But since we're kind of focusing on just this uh, beginning section, I'm gonna have it trimmed to about two seconds. So let's watch this play through. It'll repeat as soon as it hits the end of that work area. All right. The next thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of an opacity fade in. So to do that, we'll come to that one second mark 
we'll activate the opacity at 100%. Then let's rewind to the very beginning. And now we can click and drag this all the way to zero. So now let's go ahead and play that through. And that's looking pretty good. So now it just fades in until it comes to a rest. All right, so that pretty much concludes the animation phase. The next thing that we're gonna do is add uh, an effect to our video footage. To do that, we're gonna unlock my footage here. And over here in this right hand um, side is a whole bunch of additional panels. We're looking for the effects and presets panel. In this effects and presets panel is a whole bunch of effects that you can apply to your video footage. I highly recommend you exploring these uh, as there is a lot of fun and cool things that you can do. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to use the search bar to look for a tritone effect. So in order to apply the effect, you can either click and drag it onto the footage, you can click and drag it onto the timeline, or you can select your footage and just simply just double click and that will apply the effect. As soon as you apply the effect, it will open up the effects control panel in this top left section, just to, uh, or just next to the project panel. So I can toggle between the project panel and the effects panel. If you select a different layer, that particular effect will disappear. So just be kind of aware that if you're looking for that effect, and you're not seeing it, you just need to make sure you're selecting the right layer. Uh, another way of accessing this uh, effect is by just twirling these down and you'll see that there's a new effect panel or an, an effect layer. And all of those same settings are available down here in your layers panel. So let's go ahead and adjust these and style them like we want. So I'll change that yellow go orange with this one and maybe like a red on that color all right now that has been applied if we want to shy this effect we can turn that on and off here that's also down here and let's hit the space bar to kind of just see how this plays through all right and that looks pretty good okay so now i'm going to return this all the way to the end and now we have applied an effect, we've animated these assets, and now we're ready to render this out. We're gonna render this for um, a high quality video that you could then import into your um, video editing application. So this could be an, an intro that you are recycling over and over again. So let's go ahead and render this out. In order to render your composition, you'll come up to composition, and add to render queue. From here, we'll leave our settings on this option to best settings. This next option we're going to change. So I will click mine and go ahead and make yours follow along with me. So you'll select this drop down arrow and you'll select QuickTime. Come to format options, select that and change this to Apple ProRes 4222 or 422 HQ and hit OK. Make sure yours says RGB. And if you have audio, you're welcome to uh, have this turned on, uh, but mine does not, so I'm gonna keep mine off. Hit OK. And then we need to uh, tell After Effects where to render this and what to title it. So we'll click on this option right here. Uh, I already have some render tests in here, so I'm just gonna relabel this as render test four. And then I will hit render. This is now rendering out our video that just finished. So now let's take a look. All right, so now we have just finished our render. So now in order to check this out and see it work, all I'm gonna do is select my video and drag that into our uh, project panel right here. Now we have rendered footage. The next thing I'm gonna do is just drag that onto my composition here. And you can see that we now have a single clip that is uh, a high quality render. I can hit spacebar and watch that play through. And that looks great. 
So that's how you can um, create a simple logo reveal. And I hope that you were able to learn how to kind of navigate After Effects and get started. Um, please, if you haven't, like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. And until next time, keep on creating.